We're talking about the unseating of Lord Biden. This is what is happening right now. If you would please repost this right away, share it with somebody because there is a prophetic word in this that we have heard from the Lord over the last year, over the last two years really, that there would come a point of unseating where he began to outlive his usefulness. And outliving his usefulness means that the powers that be, the lords or the uh, dark lords, we'll call it that, there's a dark lord mafia that's running things and they want to begin to change the narrative. They're changing the narrative, they're changing the, the dynamic of how this is going because it's very clear that he's obviously outliving his usefulness, otherwise there wouldn't be all of these things coming right into the media, right into the news, the way things are going. And when we use terms like the legacy media, we just mean the establishment media that's been there for some time. Now, I want to say to you right now, there is a now word in this. There's a prophetic understanding, not only in what's happening with him, but the word I gave some time ago, because I, I sense the Spirit of the Lord prophesied this to us for you, for all of us. Here's why. Because what is coming is a transitional and replacement. I shared a dream and a vision I had about this some time ago, and I'll just share a little piece of it. I saw his handlers, I saw people that were taking care of him, so to speak, and he was speaking with people and they would talk behind his back going, what are we doing with this guy? How are we gonna handle this? And it was truly like on a leash how he was operating. Now in this picture, in this picture there is, there is a great transition happening. Number one, if they continue to allow this to manifest the way it is, it's because they have a purpose behind it. And by they, I mean the lords of darkness, the dark lord mafia, right? In this picture, I believe, number one, they have to figure out how they're going to begin to transition some things for Kamala. But it has been a word the Lord has given us to watch Newsom. And you say, why would you watch Newsom? Well, because I believe they're propping him up. They're propping him up to put him in a position where they will try to transition him in. I do believe all of this could very well be disrupted going into it. And you say, well, why in the world would you say I believe or I think or this or that? Because we know in part and we prophesy in part. And anybody that prophesies consistently this is what shall happen. I've got to tell you, uh, at best, they're doing divine speculation. But when I have a sense about things, it's because we're interpreting. We know in part, we prophesy in part. And the great sense I have about what's taking place is not only built on the track record of what I believe the Lord prophesied to us the last two years, is that they would eventually transition him. They would transition him. Why? Because I believe he spoke up, right? He spoke up and said, I think I will try to run again. I think I'm going to run again. And when that began to happen, I think the powers that be, the Dark Lord Mafia, decided that they wanted to say, mm, let's just go ahead and release some of this paperwork. Look where we found it. Could you believe it was in a Corvette? Who knew it would be in a Corvette? Who could possibly find it in a Corvette? <laughs> you know, it's interesting how these things play out. And the hypocrisy, the double standard of this is absolutely unspeakable. It's absolutely unspeakable that 45, they run in, they raid, do all the things they're doing. And then of course, with the Manchurian who's currently there, they begin to have a double standard. Now they are gonna unleash the hounds in this scenario. You're seeing it, it's a total setup. They're getting ready to offload. They're getting ready to transition and it's going to lead up to a pivotal moment. Now this is what the Lord spoke to us I suppose two years ago, and now going into this, that 22 would be a window that was very serious. And 23, hear me now, 23 was going to be a strange year. 24 would be another year of a window and the roar would be restored in 24, or it would accumulate into a roar in 24. Now this is a lot that we've got to consider because the Lord is making a great way of advancement. Now what does this mean for you? What does this mean right now in this time? Well. I want to tell you clearly, I sense powerfully there is a great wave of favor that's coming for you. There's a wave of favor, and this wave of favor is here to bring victory. It's a wave of favor to position your footing where you belong during this time. It's a wave of breakthrough that God is bringing for you in the middle of all this change and turmoil, and there's coming a lot of it. So uh, watch the economy be propped up for a moment. This is what I'm sensing. They're gonna prop it up, they're gonna hold it because the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me that they had, there was plans of evil for January, but in January, there would be an intervention. I see another intervention in springtime. Another intervention is coming for us in springtime. That doesn't mean 
difficulty and the worst news we've ever heard will not happen between now and then. What I am saying is that the Spirit of the Lord is making a provision, a way of escape, a way of advancement, a way for you to be provided for with a silver lining anointing. And God is making this tremendous circumstance for you even now. And so I'm sensing this powerfully today. So all the change that's happening, one, they are forced, meaning the lords of darkness are forced to push some of this into the arena that it's going. They're forced to, to flip the, the script, so to speak. In addition to this, you're going to see the pervert mafia have a confrontation day that's, that's rising more and more. There's a pervert mafia confrontation day that's coming. And you say, what does that mean? It means those that are trying to call evil good and good evil, and they're trying to bring out all these things against our children and all the, the confusion that's being pushed on the scene. And it's noted by the language. I hear the Lord saying he's going to disrupt their confusing language. There's a Tower of Babel thing that's going on that's causing people to believe that they can just call things and label things and identify things a certain way. And the Lord is going to disrupt that confusing language they're bringing on the culture to bring disarray and confusion. When you attack a language, hear me, when you attack a language, you are attacking the authority of a very culture or the very basis and foundation of a culture and a society. In addition to this, in addition to this, remember there are great criticisms and there's very uh, strong voices that are attacking and all this. You're going to see this. Remember, never forget this. Something the Lord spoke to me a long time ago. The native tongue of the uninspired is criticism. I'm going to say that again. The native tongue of the uninspired is criticism. If they don't have a word, they don't have a direction, they've got to do things. Many times you will see those who have a, a spirit of criticism or attack, attack, attack on other people. It's because they don't have their own word from God and their own mission and assignment. So they have a spirit that says, I've got to tear that down. I've got to tear that one down. I've got to attack this. And that is happening like modern day Pharisees when you see this in uh, the side of of the political scenario, the side of politics that just lies and spins things and flips the script and changes terminology, it's a spirit of Pharisee. It's a spirit of Pharisee. And Pharisees tried to make Sabbath so man was made for Sabbath and not Sabbath for the man. And that's what Jesus said. Sabbath was not, man was not made for Sabbath. Sabbath was made for man. And God is coming on the scene right now to say, hey, we're going to right size some of this. Now, another word that I have very powerfully, and I need to share this with you, is there's going to be a merging of platforms. You're going to see more and more people beginning to preach. We need to unite, not fight. Uh, hear me. I hear this so strong in my spirit. We're going to see more people saying we, it's time to unite and not fight. Remember, if things are too small, men fight. If things are big enough, men will unite. I'll say it again. If it's too small, men fight. If it's big enough, men will unite. And this is where God is taking many people in the body of Christ and in leadership. If you would, right now while I'm broadcasting to you, would you please repost this, share this somewhere, because I know the Lord is going to impact somebody through this. Now, for you and your household... Hear me. For you and your household, the Spirit of God is raising up a standard of protection and provision. Protection and provision. And by the way, I've told this to my kids for years. The real definition of love, when you want to define love, love is defined by providing and protecting just so you know. And God is going to provide and protect for those he loves in this season. We're going to see some rumblings and strangeness happening this year. But even through it all, hear me right now, there's going to come a great silver lining and a great wave of breakthrough and a great never will I leave you, never will I forsake you, movement from God. You're going to hear it in your heart. I was actually praying for many of you this morning. I was praying early, and I do this often. And as I was praying, I began to hear the Lord just say to me, I've chosen you. You know, I've, I've called you. And I'm saying this over you. You're watching this right now. God called you. God chose you. You are called by him. And on a bad day, you are supposed to be the very best there is. And you're going to see strange things in the heavens and strange things in the signs in the skies. And this is where that, uh, that false UFO narrative is going to really come to the forefront. Listen to me carefully. You're going to see more and more distraction narrative. You're going to see more and more distractions. You're going to see more and more symphony of distraction as they try to 
cover over what's going on. And even this document scenario that's coming out and the word we wrote on the board about classified and all this, you're gonna see more of this transpiring and coming out on the scene. But let me say something to you very powerfully. Watch the small news, pay attention. There are micro wins, meaning small victories that will accumulate into a roar in 24. There's another one coming. These windows are here. We're gonna see this, okay. I'm gonna share a couple quick things with you. I sense there's going to come a change, a parliamentary change. If you remember about a year and a half ago, I released the word about the Queen, Madonna, and all these Jezebel spirits that were trying to do what they were doing. And this Jezebel spirit's going to be dealt with, and you see this in Every time Madonna comes in the news, there's a word in that somewhere. And then also in addition to this, we're seeing not only is Netanyahu in power as we prophesied, then I said, I'm 80% sure that's what the Lord is saying. And I walk that through. I believe God is bringing a great turn to things. But again, it's going to be very costly for everyone. Hear me now. People are saying, God's bringing justice. Well, he's bringing justice, all right. But if the rain's going to fall on the just and the unjust. So you just need to be strong because the Lord's doing this because he loves you. He loves his kids and he's fighting on your behalf. And this also means that you're going to see a great, great moment. You're going to see great moments of victory. You're going to see transfers of, of land. You're going to see signed documents. You're going to see favor. You're going to see increase. You're going to see the favor of God beginning to rapidly multiply in your life as you begin to stand firm on what the Lord's called you to do. It's just how it's going to operate. God has called you at a very high level and he needs you in this season. This is the season where you don't get fearful. This is the season where you lean in in faith, no matter what's going on. You get into Christ Jesus, the Lord. Okay, and so let me say another thing. Let me get into this. This is important. The World Economic Forum, Klaus and all the uh, dark horse pervert mafia, they're all meeting together uh, this week again. They're coming together. It's going to begin to have meetings and they're going to do their, you know, Bond villain get together in some cave in the Arctic, right? And, or they're going to begin to be like Dr. Evil who comes together and says, for just a few hundred trillion dollars, we should be able to run the world right into the ground and uh, do mass extinction and try to get a hold of a lot of people that just begin to, you know, take some more of their practice stuff, their practice uh, uh, medical future stuff. And so you got all these guys that are running around doing these things. And I really have a word that the Lord is sending agents. Hear me now. I sense powerfully the Lord is sending agents into some of these dark shadow leadership places. And these agents of change are not only going to go there to influence, but they're going there to speak into the circumstance and speak into these lives. God's giving people an opportunity to repent and speak. God's giving people an opportunity to begin to be in the middle of these circumstances and confront these demonic high places, because that's what this is. These type of settings are run by principalities and powers of this present age, rulers in the heavenlies, rulers of darkness. And these dark lords are running around doing what they believe is changing the world and helping all this. It's just a perversion of the gospel. It's a perversion of preaching the word. It's a perversion of getting people truly born again. And the end result is ultimately perversion and selfishness. That's what it's all driven by, perversion and selfishness. And these guys are evil. Um, when I said that about the Arctic cave, I'm joking. I was trying to make fun of it like a Bond villain. They're all Bond villains. When you look at Klaus Schwab, that dude's a Bond villain. Now, another thing, from the movie James Bond, a Bond villain. Hello, Mr. Bond. <laughs> uh, you see that now. In addition to this, I also had a dream and I shared it. And it's starting to break out in little pieces in the news. And that was this. I saw Soros come on the scene and try to begin influencing and pushing things around with people's freedom voices, tech and media and social media. I saw him stepping into that. And there's going to be a pushback against that. And I'm just telling you guys. The Lord has prophesied to us to watch Elon, and I'm not again shouting his virtue or how good he is, okay? But at least he's being used as a hammer against some of these unrighteous characters. You're going to see more and more of that. So it's very important. Watch that. He's going to push back on Soros. He's going to push back on some of these wicked people because he, he truly has this, this need for what he thinks is right, even if half of what he's doing is wrong and doing some of the technology on people. 
not good. <laughs> and this is where we get into the whole antichrist system will probably be technology, artificial intelligence based. But I want to say something to you right now. Hear me. Jesus is Lord. There's a great uh, victory coming to you. There's a great ability to bring strength and encouragement even in the middle of this present evil age. God is not leaving you nor forsaking you. And I believe in the middle of all this that's trying to fall apart, all this that's trying to collapse, there are coming now prayer and revival centers, meaning this, these are those sanctuary hubs up for the anointing, for the spirit of the Lord. You're going to see intercessors raised up like the sons of Issachar. They're going to begin to break out. They're going to begin to push back and they're going to cut down much of this evil agenda that is happening. Do not forget this. The Lord has you alive during this time. In no way is he going to leave you. In no way is he going to forsake you. And he's raising up these hubs for supernatural revival. Um, I'll quote my good friend, Pastor Paul, the thin places. There's a lot of thin places that God is raising up. And these are going to be hubs and areas of revival. Praise God. And that's going to happen. I, I heard the word, actually what I heard is the Lord is responding to this term on sanctuary cities. He's going to create sanctuary revival hubs, sanctuary places where his spirit can move freely. These hubs of the spirit, there are revival sanctuary areas. You're going to see it pop up all over. Revival centers, hubs, unique communities, all this. And it's all going to be for the glory of Jesus. It's going to be powerful. It's the next wave. It's the next move. Watch for it. The Lord has us on assignment right now. Praise God, I'm on assignment all week. I'm doing what God called me to do. I might just be running into Rick Renner sometime this week, and maybe we'll get to do a broadcast together or something. But I just bless you in Jesus' name. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you because he's anointed you to preach the good news. He sent you to bind up the brokenhearted, declare liberty to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind. Those that are bound are going to be set free in Jesus' name. I declare over you right now that God will never leave you or forsake you. You are anointed for this time. You are marked for this time. God is thrilled with you and strength is upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Do not shrink back. Continue pressing in. The the Lord will never leave you and never forsake you. And those who are obedient and bold, there's a special anointing for breakthrough and increase and financial ability to break through what's going on. Of course, that's why we wrote the book, Breaking Hell's Economy. I encourage you to get it at josephz.com and leave us a good comment. Also, if you're a partner in this ministry, thank you so much for being here. If you're a partner, we love you. And we're so grateful to you. You'll hear from us. Uh, and if you decide to partner today, go to josephz.com to do that. You can text the keyword GIVE to 719-259-0029. We are so thankful to have you here with us. Jesus is Lord. We're going to take territory together. We have so much happening right now. And we're taking ground. We're taking territory. We're expanding our social media reach. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I love you. If no one's told you today, we love you. And you don't have to be afraid. You can keep pressing in in faith and favor because Jesus is, um, he's making a way for you right now. It's a good day. It's a good time. God is with you. Don't you be afraid. Don't shrink back now for one second. Special favor and divine blessing, supernatural preparation that meets opportunity is happening for you right now. On a bad day, you're the best there is. You're going red in the blood of Jesus. And God's called you to be more than a conqueror. I love you guys so much. We're going to see you very, very soon. Jesus is Lord. And please share this everywhere you can. Repost it. Tell somebody about it. God is unseating some of these wicked powers. But what comes next, we got to pray about. And, of course, the words about the Pope and the Vatican, some of that has already happened. The previous one moved on, passed on. And that was a fulfillment of a prophecy that the Lord had spoken to us. But I also want to say to you, there's more uncovering and more things that are going to radically hit the Vatican and come through that picture. You're going to see more unraveling and more dismantling and more clarity and then more declarations that are absolutely anti-Bible. Anyway, we'll talk more. Jesus is Lord. Thanks for being here. Be praying for us. A lot of good things happening right now. God bless you. I love you. Jesus is Lord. Thank you for reposting this right now. Thank you for partnering at josephz.com. Get the newsletter, download the Joseph Z app, and subscribe to all the platforms. Like and follow us on Facebook. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.